Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to the Guggenheim Museum by Frank Lloyd Wright. The design and construction of the Guggenheim Museum in New York City was a collaboration between philanthropist Solomon R. Guggenheim and renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Guggenheim approached Wright in 1943 to design a new museum building to house his growing collection of modern and contemporary art, and Wright began work on the project in 1943. Construction began in 1956 and was completed in 1959. Wright's design for the Guggenheim Museum was highly innovative for its time, incorporating a number of unconventional features that were unlike anything that had been built before. One of the most distinctive features of the building is its cylindrical shape, tapering at the bottom and rising from a triangular base. Its facade is matte white and unadorned. The building's exterior is comprised of reinforced concrete, accented by large glass panels and a series of horizontal bands that run around the circumference of the building. The main entrance to the museum is located at street level and is marked by simple, circular accents. The circle motif carries throughout the museum and is visible on both the interior terrazzo floor and concrete sidewalk outside. This entrance leads to the museum's central atrium, which serves as the hub of the building and provides access to the various galleries and exhibition spaces. The entrance to the museum is surrounded by a series of balconies and terraces, which provide visitors with panoramic views of the city and offer additional space for exhibitions and events. These outdoor spaces also serve to create a strong connection between the museum and its surrounding urban environment helping to reinforce the building's role as a cultural landmark and an integral part of the city's cultural landscape. In addition to its entrance, the Guggenheim Museum features a number of other architectural details and design features, such as the facade's concrete and glass horizontal banding, the playful curves and lines of its balconies and terraces, and the simple yet elegant lines of its glass dome. Another notable feature of the building is its spiraling ramp, which flows around the building's central atrium and provides access to the galleries. The ramp is supported by a series of cantilevered concrete trusses that extend from the building's exterior, giving the building a sense of dynamic movement. The galleries themselves are lit by natural light from the skylights and glass walls that line the building's central atrium. Upon entering the museum, visitors are greeted by the building's central atrium, which rises up to the top of the building and is surrounded by the museum's galleries. From here, visitors can begin their ascent up the ramp, which defines the central atrium and provides access to the galleries. The ramp has been described as a waterfall because of its continuous, flowing form that spirals up through the building. This design was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright's belief in organic architecture, which emphasizes the use of natural forms and the integration of art and nature. The ramp creates a continuous sequence of spaces for visitors to experience, allowing them to move through the building in a flowing spiral that mimics the natural flow of water. The curved form of the ramp also helps to create a sense of exploration and discovery, as visitors are invited to move through the building and take in the art and architecture along the way. Overall, the ramp in the Guggenheim Museum serves as a prime example of Wright's organic architecture principles, and helps to create a unique and memorable experience for visitors. As they make their way up the ramp, visitors are able to see the building's interior in a sequence that is designed to provide an immersive and enriching experience. The first level of the museum is dedicated to special exhibitions, and features a series of galleries that showcase a wide range of art and cultural artifacts. The second level of the museum is dedicated to the works of Frank Lloyd Wright and other architects who have been influenced by his innovative designs, and features a range of architectural drawings, models, and photographs. The third, fourth, fifth, and sixth levels of the museum are dedicated to the museum's permanent collection, and feature works by artists such as Pablo Picasso, Vasily Kandinsky, and Joan Miro. These levels also feature smaller, more intimate galleries, as well as a theater and other spaces that are used for educational programs and public events. As visitors reach the top of the ramp, they will find themselves in the museum's magnificent rotunda, 
which is surrounded by a series of skylights that provide natural light to the galleries below. The rotunda offers visitors a stunning view of the surrounding city and provides a sense of grandeur and majesty that is fitting for a world-renowned museum. From the rotunda, visitors can access the museum's top-level galleries, which are dedicated to the museum's contemporary collections. These galleries feature works by some of the most innovative and thought-provoking artists of our time, and offer visitors a glimpse into the latest trends in contemporary art. The building structure is composed of reinforced concrete and steel, and features a series of ramps that spiral up around the central core of the building. These ramps serve as both circulation routes for visitors and as exhibition spaces, with galleries located along their length. The building's circular form also creates a sense of continuous flow, as visitors are able to move seamlessly from one gallery to the next without having to retrace their steps. The Guggenheim also houses a research library and archives, as well as a theater and a restaurant. The museum offers a variety of educational programs and events, including lectures, workshops, and tours, aimed at engaging visitors with the art and architecture of the Guggenheim. One of the most remarkable features of the Guggenheim's design is its use of light. The building's cylindrical form and central atrium allow for an abundance of natural light to enter the building, providing an ideal environment for the display of works of art. In addition, the building's glass roof and skylights help to create a sense of openness and transparency, allowing visitors to feel as though they are truly connected to the surrounding city. The building's exterior is also notable for its minimalist aesthetic, with a plain white concrete facade that is accented by the gentle curves of the building's form. This simple, unadorned exterior serves as a foil for the building's innovative and avant-garde interior, creating a powerful visual contrast that has helped to establish the Guggenheim Museum as one of the world's most iconic and recognizable architectural landmarks. The Guggenheim Museum serves to create a unique and innovative architectural experience, with a sense of fluidity, continuity, and simplicity that has helped to establish the building as one of the most iconic and recognizable cultural institutions of the 20th century. The building was named a National Historic Landmark in 1970 and was added to the World Heritage List by UNESCO in 2019.